have to? The thing about LAX is we are a conglomeration of uh, small businesses and uh, everything here is private. And uh, they are, they are, they're all, there's three of them and they're being renovated. They so. used to be open on the weekends for the public, is that no longer? Uh, it's a rent, uh, it's a revised schedule. It's like uh, the second Saturday of the month right now. Um, uh, and, and that has to do with that. We uh, were able to take over the building. They pulled the um, memorabilia out of their garages and set up the initial display. Here, wasn't that in pieces? They had to reassemble that? Yeah, it came over here on a truck. I wasn't here when they brought it, but it, it's a former corporate airline uh, aircraft for a, a Union 76. And it was a, a commercial airline before it became a corporate uh, 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 equipment or co corporate property. Operations, they uh, find cargo to be very lucrative. Operations go smoothly. This is a 747-8, the newest uh, 747 model. We have a, a number of operations of this aircraft in and out of uh, LAX. But uh, with cargo, they, they both look, mainly flies at night, so in the daytime, the operations kind of look uh, uh, deserted. 235-ish commercial airports in the United States, but there's upwards of 3,500. Uh, he's airfield operations, he's an old friend. My wife is a, a paralegal, she's in law school now, but he needed like a support. She helped him sit. Yes, and they, they do. Well, you know, there, there is a, a, an Arab, uh, Saudi Arabia. All these cargo operations, and uh, even when you're flying commercially, there's cargo down with your luggage.
but uh, here we have uh, our Hangar 1 building. Outside, we, uh, it's a historical building, so we can't touch the facade, but inside it's a fully serviceable, a fully operational equipment servicing company. Aircraft of loading vehicles, uh, the uh, carts. That's an old building? Uh, is that okay? One of them is going to take off about noon. This is something I don't see all the time. Yeah, I don't see that one often. Yeah, so I would say that's new for me. that back then to uh, mitigate noise impact of the jets, the 707 jet. So the airport was, uh, after World War II, it was over where we were in a crisscross area. So the runways were right over here where that plane is in a crisscross fashion. This side here was developed for the Boeing 707 and the Jet Age Airport. Off or if it's going to go to the fixed base yeah. and it looks like it's going to take off awesome. that's a 787 Dreamliner stop counting them We have great, um, great Lakes Airlines that runs a, a prop. But those are the only two prop operations that I can remember right now. I used to fly the small and rare prop from here to San Francisco. that boarding pass just don't miss your flight so you come in early and you go wherever you want to go you can go in Bradley you can go in terminal 6 terminal 5 you go through security the best thing now at an airport airplanes have the right of way Point. 
320. A320. A320. That's not gonna work. What I need to do is get more authorization. 